stitchy friends I'm Amanda and welcome to the Starlight Stitching Co floss tube video number two today is November 17th and let's see what did I do in the last two weeks uh, Sophie got over her flu so she's feeling a lot better I managed to get an ear infection but I'm feeling much better now as well so we're all on the mend um, because of that we haven't really done a whole lot Tuesday it, we woke up to snow on the ground and it's been quite cold so it's definitely sweater weather and I'm starting to get my Christmas decorations out you can see I've got my my little craft room Christmas tree up already granted I had just put it in the tote totally decorated and everything so all I had to do was set it on the shelf and I have my snowman painting that my mom painted for me and I like to put my fat quarter bundles underneath the Christmas tree because I think they look like little presents. And a little snowman hanging up on the wall. Snowflake. Just some simple decor that I've collected over the years. Eventually I would like to stitch some ornaments to go on the Christmas tree, but I just haven't gotten around to that yet. So, future plans. I haven't gotten everything out upstairs yet, so we don't have the tree up yet. And we don't have... I'm just starting to get... The, the Christmas decorations out and make it feel all festive. So no, I don't I don't like to decorate just for Thanksgiving. I like to jump right into Christmas. That way the decorations are up and out of the way when all the craziness happens. Um, so on to the stitching. I've got a couple of previous finishes that I pulled out of the decoration bins. First, I have the Cookie Exchange by Hands On Design. This is stitched on a 14 count fabric flare Ada and is finished on a little sign for, that I got from Hobby Lobby. And the ribbon and the buttons came from Hobby Lobby as well. The fabric on the backing is from my stash. Very cute. I love it. It goes in my kitchen. Then I have... Christmas Wishes by Primrose Cottage Stitches that I stitched last year. And this is stitched on a 14 count gold Ada. So you can kind of see the shimmer in the fabric. If you can't tell yet, um, I like sparkle. <laughs> so anytime there's sparkle, I'm, I'm going to add it in if I can. And then we've got a little gingerbread man on the bow. And this is finished on a paddle that came from Walmart last year, probably. Next, I do have a finish. It's not a full finish. Excuse me, I have to reach. But I did finish stitching the Magic Fairy. Now, one problem I had, I noticed that, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but it looks like some of the color from the fabric is bleeding into the thread. And I think that's because I had to use the beeswax to be able to stitch with the glow-in-the-dark thread. So maybe this particular fabric isn't, um, the, the printing on it isn't color safe. So just something to keep in mind if you get this fabric. I still think it's really pretty. I still think it'll look great finished. I have to decide exactly how I want to finish. I think I want to make it into a round, a round finish or find a hoop to put it in and then decorate the hoop, but I need to measure it and see what kind, what size of hoop I might need and go from there. So hopefully in the next two weeks I'll be able to have this totally fully finished and ready to gift for Christmas. Um... That's the only finish I have. I don't have any new full finishes, but maybe next time. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> it's coming up on Thanksgiving, and that starts a starts the hectic time of year. So now I'll go into whips. I've got my... Oops. I don't want to show the pattern. Autumn Love by Lori Holt. And this is in my Starry Owl stitchery bag. I didn't get a whole lot done. But I do have the border 
about halfway finished. I got the stars all done. I think I had all I think I had all the stars done last time that we talked. But I've got to start on that lacy border and I am doing that border in white. So B5200 I think. Or is it blanc? I don't know. One of the whites. And I just love how that lacy border looks on this 28 count Laguna in the color tea dyed. Very pretty. This one uh, is probably going to get put away until at least the new year because I've got quite a bit of stitching to get done before Christmas. But this one is great right now to take somewhere where I don't want to have to have the pattern set out because I can do that border stitching without the pattern. It's very repetitive and easy to keep up with. So next up, I have Christmas Rules by Primrose Cottage Stitches. And... I managed to finish week three, which is drink hot cocoa. Next is going to be hang your stocking. So I'll start on that on Saturday. So I've been starting this on Saturday and usually finishing it between by Sunday. So they're very quick to stitch. Um, I have, because of that, I haven't really gotten a lot done on my um, the piece that I had picked for Sabbath stitching, the nativity. So that one may have to wait until I get some of these Christmas ones done. This one is just for myself, so it's not a big deal if I don't get it done by Christmas, but I kind of like to get it done by Christmas, just, just because. Next, I am working on Christmas in Pink by Kiri E. Batakiri. Very cute pattern. And, oops, let's get this needle to the back so it's out of the way. So we don't have the thread in the way. I actually got quite a bit done on this one. So last time I still had some of the gray on the sleigh, to, on the bottom of the sleigh to finish. And now I've moved over and gotten her dress or her coat outlined and quite a bit of the white done on her coat. I still have quite a long ways to go. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the whole thing or not. It just depends on how far I get. So there's still a lot of filling to do. So this will probably be my one of my focus pieces just because it's so large and I want to try to get it done before Christmas, obviously, so I can fully finish it and gift it. And hopefully not have to be up at, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning on Christmas Day trying to get it finished and wrapped before gift-giving time. So next in whips, I have the Tree Topper by Satsuma Street. Cute little ornament. And this is on perforated paper. And I got quite a long ways on this yesterday. You cannot see very well because there we go. That's better. So yesterday I was actually able to get all the green on the tree done and the gold on the star and these birds done. So all that I have left is the lighter green in the tree and then it's time to start adding the beads and sequins. So that'll be exciting. So I might actually be able to have this one finished in the next couple days. I'll have to uh, look up some tutorials on finishing an ornament on perforated paper. So if you have any recommendations for tutorials on how to finish one of these, that would be really helpful. And I've got all my floss from the kit just stored on one of my um, floss holders. Works really well because then I can just wrap it up. And these are sized perfectly to be able to fit within the pocket of a cross-stitch clutch. 
And then the last whip that I have, which is just a small start, is this little Christmas angel right here. And that is by Sweet Annette. She has a shop on Etsy. I don't think this pattern will be in there because this is in the 2022 Christmas Ornaments magazine. But I will go ahead and link her shop and check out some of her other patterns. But here is my start. So I have switched the colors on the dress from pink to green because this is going to be my Sophie's Christmas ornament for this year and she loves green. So I had to switch all of the colors and this is just the lighter green outline of the dress. So I need to fill in and then start adding more colors to it. And on that, one of the most exciting things that I've finished within the last two weeks is, excuse me while I step off to the side, I finally have all my DMC floss sorted and organized. So what I have is the storage system from Tidy Stitch, which organizes the floss colors in color families. So here is one of the cards. It's the mahogany color family. So it lists all of the DMC colors and then they're just organized in here from lightest to darkest in that color family. And this makes it so easy for substituting colors because on that little Christmas angel pattern, there were five different pinks used in that dress. And what I was able to do was just grab one whole color family. I think it was the jade. Ooh, let's, let's not throw them all out there. That, that would not be good. I was just able to grab the whole jade color family and use those from light to dark in place of the pinks that were all listed on the pattern. So very pretty. I love it. I have a total of six of these plastic boxes. I ordered them from, uh, five of them from Tidy Stitch, and I was short one, and then I ordered another one from Amazon. And because sometimes I want to be able to find them by number, not just by color family, I made myself a little laminated chart that has them organized by number and then lists the color family on it. That way I know where to look for it. And eventually I'm going to add some labels onto the side of the boxes that lists what color families are included so I can just grab the box for that color family. So very helpful system. I'm really thrilled to have it finally organized because before I just had it all in bins basically sorted by color. So all the reds and pinks in one bin and all of the blues and purples in another bin. And it just made it really hard to find the exact color that I needed. And I didn't have a full collection either. I'm, I'm very close to having a full collection of DMC now, the regular DMC, which I'm excited about. Uh, I just have a few more left to order and uh, I'll probably order those here next week when the Black Friday sales happen. But I'm so excited to have this done. And when I was pulling my floss for the little Christmas angel and another ornament that I'm gonna stitch, it was so easy to find in here. So I'm super excited about that. I will link the Tidy Stitch shop so you can get those color family cards if you want as well. And she doesn't sell the whole list in numerical order. I created that myself. But if you would like that, just send, an, send me an email the email address is in the description box below, and I'll send you that file and you can just print it off 
trim it down and laminate it. That, that's all I did. And I would be happy to uh, share that with you at no cost. So that handles all the whips, all the cross stitching whips. I actually had some time to quilt this weekend, which I was very excited about. Um, I have a bad habit of spending all my free time doing work. So Starlight Stitching Co. work. And I kind of have to force myself to squeeze in. Excuse me. I have to uh, actually break out some time for me to spend on doing other things instead of just work. So it was a lot of fun. So I made this baby quilt. Someone in my family had a, one of my nephews had a baby earlier this year. So I'm a little late on getting this made and done. I've been waiting for some time to work on it for quite a while. But this is the Rose and Bloom quilt collection. I just had two charm packs. And the pattern is the Charm Pack Challenge from Fat Corner Shop, which is super simple. You sew the Charm Pack squares into a five by five grid, and then just cut it in half and rotate two of the blocks and sew it back together. So here, let me get the whole thing in here. You can see that these four blocks here if you just turned this one, or no, turned these two towards the center, it would just be a 25 by 25 grid. And I was able to get this whole thing sewn together in one evening. It was very fast. So now I just have to pick out the perfect backing and binding fabric and get this sweet little blanket quilted. Um, Sunday, I was also to get a good start on, where did I put it? Excuse me for just a second. I'm sorry. I know it's very rude to, to walk away from the camera, but I forgot to pull this out before videoing. A few weeks ago, we went to Hobby Lobby, which that doesn't happen often. I don't go to Hobby Lobby very often. And... Sophie fell in love with this panel. She's all about horses right now and loves to watch the cartoon show Spirit, Spirit Riding Free or something like that. So I picked up this panel and then I dug through all of my scraps of Christmas fabric and manage to find enough to basically do the same thing as the charm pack challenge. So these are four and a half inch squares and I've sewn them together in a five by five grid and then I'm gonna do the same thing, cut it in half, turn one block. And this will be a very simple quilt. Here's my very rough sketch right here. So I'm excited to see that done. I was able to get all of these big blocks to this stage, so six of them like this, in, on Sunday afternoon. And now I just have to do the blocks that are gonna go on the side of the panels. So these I'm gonna do disappearing nine patch blocks, where you just do the same thing. You sew it into a nine by nine grid and then cut it in half and sew it back together. So that is what I will do for that and I hope to have it done by Christmas. We shall see. Um, I also have a crochet whip that I've been working on. I don't have the pattern with me, but I will add it in here at the bottom of the screen. But this is a shawl and it is made with Premier's Retro Velvet yarn in turquoise, so it's very chunky, very soft. I love it. It's a very nice sized 
shawl and when it's done because I still have to weave in the ends and add some pockets I think it's called a pocket shawl I'll, I'll add it in there but here's one that I finished for myself last year last year earlier this year I don't remember but so it has a pocket and some fringe and this was made with a different yarn, a Lion, was it, was it Lion brand puzzle yarn? It was some sort of puzzle color. But either way, it can go around your shoulders and these nice little pockets that you can put your hands in and it just keeps you cozy and warm. So this is one that I keep in the camper and I wanted another one to keep in the house. That's why I'm working on the second one. And then of course, Sophie has seen me working on these. This one here, this turquoise one, is the fifth time I've crocheted this pattern. So these are great for gifts. I've made several for gifts. Um, but I'm gonna make a smaller one for Sophie so she has her very own in green, of course. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi, Lulu? Lulu, say hi, kitty. No. You just want to play with all my stuff? Yeah? Okay, well that does it for whips. I have a little bit of haul. I participated in an ornament exchange online and I received this from Amy. I don't want to say her full name because I didn't ask for permission. But she sent me some gold caramel popcorn. I love just about anything caramel or sea salt caramel. And some caramel milk chocolates. And this was the adorable ornament that she sent. I believe this is a Stitching with the Housewives pattern. Santa riding a chicken. Very cute. And then she also sent me one of these cup cozies, coffee cup cozies, in a similar color palette, and some pretty DMC flosses. So sweet of her. And I love it. I just need to get my tree up so I can hang the ornament. I received a little bit of haul from Annabella's. So I managed to get some of the classic color works, Marmalade and Summer Sky. They're two newest colors. I do not have anywhere near a full collection of classic color works. That, that might be the next goal. Once I get all the DMC is to work on a classic color works full collection. I also managed to get this Cardinal Kin Plum Street Samplers pattern, which is so adorable. I guess I can take it out of the plastic for you, huh? Maybe. Snug fit. There we go. Look at that cute little pillow with the cardinals. A mommy and a daddy and a baby cardinal. So I want to stitch that. And then I also picked up this sweet little strawberry fair pattern. I just loved all the detail on that strawberry and the sweet little robin. I think it's a robin. We'll go with a robin. It's a little birdie. And I picked up the flurry pattern from Teresa or pattern booklet. So there's nine patterns in here. So there's this one. And these here. That's a really cute one. I'm trying not to um, share any patterns, but look at that, that snowman with the flower bouquet in the little house. What is that called? winter bouquet. 
That is so cute. So, as I mentioned, as I mentioned, I, I love snowmen. I'm a sucker for anything that's snowman. And I just really fell in love with this pattern on the cover. It's so adorable. The snowman that says peace on earth at the bottom and the little angel wings. So cute. And then I also managed to get this shepherd's bush pattern. It is called Holy Night. I'll try to get close so you can see the pattern. And it, it's basically the Christmas story. It says, a star shone with heavenly light, shepherds gazed with awed delight, wise men came with hearts alight, the Christ child was born that night. So just a very pretty pattern with lots of detail. Love it. So, as usual, I don't know when I'm going to stitch these. I'm pretty well busy until Christmas, at least. Uh, then I also got some shop haul. So these are fabrics that you can expect to see clutches made from in the near future. So this is from Teresa Kogut's fabric line. Is it Stitchy Birds? Let's see if I can find out. Yep, Stitchy Birds is the name of the collection. So, and I've, I have them laid out how I plan to pair them. So the red with this blue, the blue with this nice coppery red, and then the cream background with this green. And I think that'll look really cute for some stitching themed clutches. And I was also able to find more of the sea turtle fabric. So those went super fast and were really popular. So I managed to get two more yards of each and you'll see more of these coming up soon. Put my uh, haul away. Um, I also have some crochet haul. So I was enabled by Tiger Lily Designs. She has recently started knitting and has found some really beautiful yarn. I have never knit myself a sweater. I've, or I don't knit anything. I haven't crocheted myself a sweater. I've crocheted blankets and scarves and shawls and I've crocheted a few sweaters for my daughter, but I haven't ever crocheted a sweater for myself. And I loved the beautiful yarn that Tiger Lily found. So I went on to webs.com and found this beautiful, it's a Rios, and it's a merino wool, one that's washable, and that is the color. I will say on the website it looked a lot more blue, like a bluey gray. Um, here it's showing up a lot more purple than it is in real life. It's kind of hard to describe. So it's definitely a purpley gray with some other, some variegation and some neutral tones mixed in. Really pretty, just not quite what I expected. It's kind of hard to tell when you're ordering online, but unfortunately I don't have a yarn shop anywhere nearby. But I have all of my yarn and the pattern that was recommended to me was the Andrea cardigan by the easy design so come after the new year after I'm done with all of my Christmas things I plan to start this crochet project, and that will be loads of fun. Let's see, where are we at in my notes here? 
That's it for haul. So next up, let's do the giveaway winners. So last week I had, or last week, last time I had a giveaway for three pieces of this beautiful opalescent Ada that was dyed it with indigo writ dye by me. And I will, excuse me, I will put the winner's comments up on the screen as I say them. Um, if you win, please email me at the email address listed below in the description box and send me your mailing address and I will get these shipped off to you within the next week or so. So the giveaway winners, and remember these are your YouTube usernames. The giveaway winners are Karen Holler. The second winner is Lori Votero. And the third winner is Paula Tolos. I apologize if I'm butchering your name, but I've also shown the comment up on the screen. So if you three ladies would please contact me and uh, send me your mailing address, I'll get these shipped off to you. Okay, so plans. Um, I plan to keep working on my Christmas rules on the weekends and ornaments and try to really focus on that Christmas in pink piece so I can get that done by Christmas. I also have, whew, stringy, this piece that I stitched two years ago that's been sitting in my to be finished box that I would like to fully finish here pretty soon. I think I'm going to finish it in this Chantel's 141 6x6 box. I just need to get it painted up. I thought about painting it red, but now I don't know. Hmm, we'll see. But I figure I'll paint this up and finish this in the box with maybe a little bow at the top to fill in the extra space. And that'll be a simple finish and have one more thing out of the box. Try to get some work done on the quilts. Finish up all the clutches from the last order. Um, there are just a few of the options left in the shop. I didn't get a chance to do a preview video this time because it kind of snuck up on me in between getting the last set totally done and shipped out and getting the ones ready to photograph for this time. What was I trying to say? I totally lost my thoughts. <laughs> okay, so I have to finish up the clutches from this last order, get some samples done for the next one. We have Thanksgiving next week. So we have to get ready for that. Um, my husband and I host both my family and my husband's family. So that's a lot of fun. Also a lot of work, but a lot of fun. Definitely worth it. Um, try to get my Christmas decorations up. So that's totally done. We'll see. Should be fun. I do have a giveaway for this week. So this week I am going to be giving away two of my... Starlight Stitching Co. floss holders. So two winners. Uh, please use the word floss in your comment. Please like and subscribe. Don't say free, don't say giveaway so we can keep the trolls away. Uh, please be over 18 because I do need to ask for your shipping address and please be in the US only. And you'll have two chances to win one of these sweet little floss holders that I absolutely love using. These were part of the October Clutch Club box. I do have some left that were extras that I plan to list in the shop uh, probably in December, the same time I list the uh, autumn leaves pattern. And that's all I have. So if you'd like to win one of these, please leave a comment with the word floss. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving if you're here in the United States and have a fabulous weekend and I hope you get some stitching in. 
Thank you so much for watching. Bye.